The fall armyworm is having a disastrous effect on crops in Uganda. While the government is spraying crops in some parts, experts are concerned. Some say more needs to be done, especially at farm level, where its subsistence farmers are being affected. We need technical people on the ground. We need to educate people to be on the lookout. Any new pest you see, any new butterfly you see, any new thing you see within the what? Within the, your farm or your garden, report immediately. And we need to see the local government administration institutions in agriculture, the production unit, well facilitated to respond. In Uganda, over 70% of the population depends on agriculture for their livelihood. The fall armyworm was first reported in 20 districts, but it's now in at least 54. Agriculturalists say this will affect the food security situation in the country. It is not only more hunger, but also the poverty and welfare indicators. Because to the farming communities in Uganda, their livelihood is totally dependent on the production they have done. And besides that, over 80% of our food needs as a country are being supplied by those farmers. So for me, I think every food consumer in Uganda would even be more worried. The government has deployed technical teams to the affected farms. But the Ministry of Agriculture says farmers also need to be made aware of how to control the pest. The only problem with the farmers would have been lack of knowledge and therefore using a, the types that cannot kill this fall army war. But now that we know, we are giving them information so that we we make a combined, we form a combined force, farmers and the government to fight the, the fall army war together. The fall army worm is said to breed when the sun goes down and some farmers have been advised to spray their crops in the evening. The worm eats up the leaves and shoots of the maize crop at a fast rate. The army worm outbreak came just a few weeks after a long dry spell that affected many farms across the country. Experts say this will further affect agricultural productivity and is likely to rise inflation figures in the coming weeks. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN in Kampala.